Well, get over here, Jason, uh, because we want to talk about the Hyperloop. Remember this? We started talking about this years ago. It's a vacuum tube, and pods inside could travel at hundreds of miles per hour, changing travel as we know it. Recently, the company Swiss Pod Technologies showed off to Governor Polis the largest Hyperloop test track in the world, which happens to be on the grounds of the former Pueblo Army Depot in southeastern Colorado. Okay, but realistically, mm -hmm. when we can take a ride, it's just going to depend on who you're asking. Yeah, if you're asking me, it's going to be a lot longer than if you're asking the CEO and the <laughs> founder of uh, hi uh, the Hyperloop Technology Swiss Pod. I when I talked to him, he thought five years. What? Uh, Dennis oh, wow. Tudor told me when right. I spoke to him on my Driving You Crazy podcast, he thought maybe five years. Imagine getting to Pueblo from Denver in 10 minutes or down to Dallas in just wow. an hour. It's one of the advantages of Hyperloop. It is super fast, but will it ever be safe for people to ride in? Is this more of a cargo first and maybe human second? Because the risk to human passengers is probably pretty great right now. I'm a big believer. I'm a big, big believer of passenger transportation. I think that's what's really exciting. And that's what's, what we all dream about. And um, I think Hyperloop is going to be like the safest mode of transportation because you, I mean, sure, you are in a tube and that makes it weird. It's, that yeah. makes it <laughs> inconvenient in a way uh, oh. for some people however you are you are going to you are going to be shielded you are going you are not going to interact anymore with the kind of external perturbances so that would make things i mean much much safer than existing transportation systems and at the same time everything is going going to be driverless so there is not going to be any human being inside to drive the capsule it's going to be uh, an ai algorithm an autopilot system that will drive the capsule inside that's right. You heard Dennis say no driver inside the pod. Uh, right now, you can only go about three football fields long. That's as long as it goes right now in Pueblo. But Dennis hopes to connect cities together all over the country with some of these tubes running even underground. It's really interesting technology. And we were just talking about yeah. how it's going to work. So yeah. it's a near vacuum tube in there. So there's right. little to no air resistance. And then it's on these uh, magnetic uh, levitation uh, tracks, basically. So there's no resistance with wheels. Yeah. So that's why it's different than the uh, bullet train. Like the bu yeah. So it can go like 700 miles an hour in the tube. That's wow. like yeah. twice as fast as the Maglev right. trains that they have. Exactly. More than twice as fast. And you can listen to all of my interview with Dennis on my Driving You Crazy podcast. It's available everywhere on any podcast app and on YouTube. Yeah, that was the first thing I thought of. I was like, oh, is it like a bullet train? But yes. no. I no, mean, a lot it's totally faster. Lot yeah. And it's in a tube, so it's confined. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's yeah. fascinating. Thank you.